Hello and most welcome to the page here on GBC News. Uh, this is where we do chit chat and this is where we get those who matter when it comes to sports development. And today we continue with our countdown to the biggest and most celebrated bodybuilding event in this country. We're talking about Mangana 2020. And on the 7th of November, the finest bodybuilders in the country will be converging at the Osu. Uh, Ebenezer Hall to really uh, display the stuff they made of in terms of whose body is well chiseled, who really can do the best of posing because they need to represent Ghana at next year's Arnold Classics. Today, I've been joined by one of the partners, a member of one of the partners, California Fitness uh, Center, who really believe in this dream and wants to really come on board and project the image so we want to find out from them indeed after signing that uh, mou with officials from the bodybuilding and fitness association what are they offering us what really are they doing for us and so uh, i have michael rico in the house mickey thanks very much for your time thank you now i i know you are ever ready because any day i enter your gym it looks like serious stuff now here we go tell us um the countdown is on. How ready is California Fitness Center to really uh, make sure that this event comes up a success? Before I continue, I'd like to say a very big thank you to this channel for giving us the opportunity mm -hmm. to come on. Um, California Fitness has been in, in session for a year now, mm -hmm. probably having our anniversary next week, the mm -hmm. 17th of this month. Mm -hmm. And we decided to partner with uh, GBFA mm -hmm. because it's the biggest federation in the country and they're doing amazing, nurturing talent in bodybuilding. That's why we came together to work with them. And we are on. The gyms are open. The gym is open for every athlete in the GBFA to come train on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So as we are preparing, which I am part, as we are preparing, most of the athletes come in on a daily basis to train and prepare for the manga. So, so um, are you going for the real fitness event or are you going for the, the, the men's physique? Yeah. Which one? I'm, I'm part of the bodybuilder. Oh, okay. The lightweight so, category. So you, you are going for the lightweight. So which means that uh, your other contenders will be standing there watching you do stuff. Now, now tell me, with this uh, partnership, and so on our screens are some of your colleagues. Uh, if you turn it right now, some of our colleagues are on your screens, your colleagues. And uh, I can see last year's champion, all the defending champion and co all on screens. Now, tell me. What is this thing with California uh, Fitness Center and the fitness industry in this country? Because we've seen so many gyms around, but exactly for California, what is it that makes you to really do this thing you want to do for bodybuilding? So I believe in my boss a lot. Uh, mm. I want to say a big thank you to him mm. for giving me this opportunity to come and even represent the gym, mm. Mr. Ali Ghani. Mm. And I, I don't know what he has seen but I believe in him so much with what he is doing. He believes in youth development and in the gym being in this country, being the biggest gym in the country right now, he decided to partner with the GBFA. Um, it's good for um, youth development. There are a whole lot of athletes out there, or people who are training or people who are getting certified to become fitness instructors who wants to be, be part of something big like California. Mm. And we have about four athletes there as coaches, fitness instructors, and instructors there. So I think that's what he has seen, the greatness or to see talent come to life. That's why he's partnering with... Uh, so in, in, in giving you opportunity to sell this year's uh, uh, Man Ghana Championship, two things come in mind. We are in an election year, and also it's a year that coronavirus disrupted everything. So for instance, for the fitness industry, 2021 will be mega because they will combine most of the activities. What is it with this particular mangana that Ghanaians, especially some of my seniors, that's like George Sapo, should come on the 7th of November to come and watch you guys? So bodybuilding in a nutshell is, is art, just like painting, um, putting paint on a canvas or sculpting from a wood or molding with a clay. So. I, I encourage everybody to come to Osu on the 7th of November to see art. Not just a physique, not just body, but to appreciate the effort of someone sacrificing and putting a lot of things in place just to have that kind of body. Mm. I believe the process that we go through using cardiovascular training, uh, weight training and being on a strict diet is the process that an artist will go through by mixing the paint and picking the brush and painting on the canvas. So you should come there and come and see the finished work 
of an artist. Now, with this election, we know that when we see people with physiques like you, I can see your biceps and everything. If you stand, everybody sees that in our local palace, Bermany, and it is election year, then we know that you guys turn yourself into bullies. Can you dissociate yourself and your group from the bullies that we see that you always follow the politicians, knock people's head, pick ballot boxes, run away and do stuff? I think I will swing back a little bit onto the fact that over the years, we've had people, some people, as a macho man, do mm -hmm. those things. So, yours, how do you call it? I'm a bodybuilder. So, is there a difference between a macho man and a bodybuilder? So, there is nothing like a macho man, if I should put it in that sense. Okay. But some people have chosen their own path because of lack of opportunity. So, having a particular physique, people would like to associate themselves with a bully and trying to be bodyguards and bouncers. I don't, I'm not saying being a bouncer or being a bodyguard is a bad thing, mm. but there is an opportunity for you having a particular physique or having a body or building your body. You can channel into other things like the Mangana mm. or like the GBF, you're associating yourself with the GBF and becoming a bodybuilder mm. and make a living out of it or it can even become a hobby. Mm. And so, um, on the seventh, uh, what should I expect from the lightweight category? Because I know other guys who are also there. They now tell me, yes. so Ghanaians know that when they come, they are looking for Eriko. Eriko. <laughs> then they know that Eriko is going to represent us at the end of the day. They qualify and represent us at uh, Arnold Classics in South Africa next year. I'm there to win. So they should come see me win. Eriko, there are other people out there. The competition is tired this time. <laughs> I, I, I was amazed when I saw some of them working out. And uh, you, you just give me one bit. So. Are you ready, Eriko? I'm ever ready. I've always been ready. Mm. I've been waiting for this opportunity every year since we have it on an annual basis. And this year being one of them, aside of COVID, then whatever happened with COVID, we are still having the event. So they should come out and enjoy the show. It's going to be an amazing show. Mm. So for you personally, uh, uh, since you started mounting the stage on Mangana, this year will be how many, how many years now have you been mounting this it? This will be my third year. Third year. And so when you look at the progression, third year you came, your first time you came, you saw. The I second time you came. This is going to be the third time. So what is the target? Don't tell me that, oh, I'm going to take it outside. <laughs> but when you look at the progression. I played third in, mm -hmm. in two years. Mm -hmm. This year I'm winning. Wow. And, and finally, for um, people who want to see, uh, I know the lightweight will be there. Uh, do you have an interest in the bikini as well? Is or the it? lady physique? Do you, you have an interest there? An interest? Will, what do you mean by an interest? I mean, w w w what are you expecting to see when it comes to the bikini and then the, the female contest? And the, uh, Let me see. Since I'm, I'm part of them, they become like sisters to me. Oh, okay. They are working hard. I, I wish a lot of females would get on board mm. because it's a great avenue for you to to develop yourself. Mm. I think bodybuilding is all about developing yourself, looking better, feeling better, getting your mind into the right space. Mm. So I will entreat people to come and look at it. Females, young age people, they should come. They can do a lot with the female side of bodybuilding. Mm. It's an amazing venture, so they should come and check it out. So for, for everybody that will be representing on the day, uh, I know the GBFA is saying that uh, we are not going to be bullies anymore. So this year we are flexing for peace. So before we check out from the studio, I just want you to, you in word, just show me how ready you are to also flex <laughs> for peace here on the studio. So just do one, one demonstration for me before you, you check out from the studio. Let me see how ready you are to really flex for peace. Before, before I, get, I get the president of the GBFA here to also come and join him to do the flexing. So, aha, he's flexing for peace uh, on national TV. Uh, the same, I'll let my, my other colleagues also join. Uh, George will be flexing for So how do you do it? You do it this way. So we, can, we do this one. I think my dress will not permit me to really flex very well, but okay, yeah, we'll do it this way. You do the arms in the air like this. So, viewers, it's the countdown for Mangana 2020, uh, and it will be live on GTV and GTV Sports Plus from the Osu Presby Hall. Uh, you need to be there. Uh, it's, it's going to be amazing. Please. That day, try your best at 6 p.m. Try your best and just be at the Osu Hall and let's celebrate uh, fitness and bodybuilding. I have the president here who will come and join us to send a message uh, of uh, I flex for peace. 
uh, message here. So we are not fighting. We are all flexing for peace. So uh, Mr. Abdelayate will quickly join me. We are checking out from the studio. He's joining us. Thank you very much, Abdul. Uh, stand in the middle. Now, uh, the message out there is that you, you have it. I flex for peace. Flex for peace. Flex for peace. Yes. So let's want to go. We, we're sending the message. We are all flexing. For, uh, how do you do it? Yes. <laughs> 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 and so we was um, the page we say we are flexing for peace. For peace. Uh, Ghana man, man Ghana oh, 2020. Yes. They flex for peace. They are and then that behind, it, oh. it's what what you're saying. Uh, uh, let me see. Let me see. Violence, violence, free, violence free election. election. And yes. so they are saying that this 2020 elections, it's going to be free. They are not going to do anything to cause mayhem or havoc anywhere. And so Abdul and your team, we say thank you very much. Thank Continue you, the sir. good work. I know I'll get you enough time for yes. us to also come and talk more. But thank you again for getting California on board yep. and getting the rest on board. And, and we know that at the end of the day, it's Ghana wins. Yes. Thank you very much, viewers. That has been the page. When we just leave the studio, remember to stay glued to your set because focus is coming up. And so have a good day. Bye for now.